Can I ask you about if you're still a conspiracy theorist on Shohei Otani betting on baseball? Yeah. Because a lot of stuff came out about Whoa. that yesterday. 16 mil? 16 million. But this dude, this Ipe Mizuhara, the interpreter, the criminal complaint is all out. There's a lot of good info, and we should read some of these text messages today. Because I, I was a little bit questioning as well. Like, come on. This is why would this guy bet this? It's probably Shohei was surely he knew or was involved in some capacity. But I don't know, man. If you read some of the some of the criminal complaint against this interpreter and the text messages and the logs that they have, this guy sounds like a dude who had a gambling problem, and it all kind of tracks for me and, so how and does lines it up. Tie a little up bit. with Shohei though. Is Shohei just like here, take money yeah, or like the part so, that, I don't get it. The part that I don't get though is about how like he just pretended to be Shohei Otani and the bank just okay. I think it. on the phone that probably happened and like that doesn't work that way though. But w- could it potentially? And I hate to bring this element of it up because I don't know if this is what it was. But if it's like oh that guy kind of has an accent, sounds Japanese to me, and you're on the phone, could that that much money? No man, I understand, dude. I just went through. I just had to go to DMV to get my driver's license. Like, like now, there's th- process out the wall. That bank is is boned on this whole thing too. I should think that the people that that greenlit some of that at the bank, they all they they, tra- they trace it back and go, what was happening here? What was going on here that you didn't have this level of oversight? But what happened was Mizuhara took him evidently, like when Shohei first got to the United States, this guy was his guy. And took him to a bank, and I think it said Arizona, and set up, hey, here's where your MLB paychecks can be direct deposited. And he's evidently the only one who had access to this particular account. Like, the the other financial guys and advisors did not. I don't know how that happens. There's that much money in there, too? That's the thing, man. Like, I don't know how that actually happens. You're, You're still... You don't. I don't buy it. You, you think something fishy? Yes. I really don't anymore. I hope not because I I like Shohei, man. I like watching him play. He makes me want to watch baseball. Yeah, Jackson Holiday makes me want to watch baseball. But like, I there's this dude. A lot of question marks, man. Whoop, sixteen million. But I mean, like even to like the bookie would have to know that you got that guaranteed money. How do you prove that without talking to the big dog, Shohei? Like, he there's a lot going on You're doing there. illegal stuff, though. If I'm the bookie, it's like a don't ask, don't tell. I'm like, I kind of think that maybe there's somebody, you know, supplying some some funding here. but He's not going to spot you that coin if he doesn't know that you're, you're guaranteed, you guarantee you have it. Dude, you got to go through some of these text messages because the guy's like, hey, can you, because he's betting on credit on this website or whatever it is. He's betting on credit. They're floating you this money, and then it's like you get behind, you get behind, and then and, hey, when oh are you going to pay gosh. this money? Can you wire me some money? And the dude, three days in a row, this was in June of 2023, the text messages in the criminal complaint show this, three days in a row was like, hey, man, I'm such a bad better. Ha ha, LOL. Can you give me a bump? Which does not mean uh, drugs. A it, cocaine bump. Yeah. doesn't mean oh, that. Let's be clear about what we're talking about. Can you bump up my, my credit limit for the betting that I'm doing this week? I promise this will be the last time I ask. <laughs> and then the next day he goes... I just need one more bump. I know I'm so terrible. Can I get a little bit more? Wow. And, the ne- and the guy keeps going, yeah, that's fine. But as long as you're good for just sending the 500 k per week, because of the wires, they were having issues with the wires. And so eventually I they say- I think 500 k was the max that you could do. I think it was the max you could do. So he's like, as long as that's good every Monday, I'll give you as much as you want because I know you're good for it. You've got a history of ultimately, you know, as once we figured out the wires, because that's probably kind of tough God. when you're doing illegal stuff. Once they figured that out, he's like, hey, you're good for it. So I, I just need to communicate with my guy, my partner and all this to make sure he knows what you know to the, expect. the big guy in L.A.? Yeah, that guy. Dude, I, there was so... In this criminal complaint, there's Bookmaker 1, there's Bookmaker 2, and then there's a Bookmaker 3, and in the guy's phone, it, not Ipe, Ipe's phone, but the other Bookmaker's phone, he's listed as dude's name, Indian... Uh, Indian Book, which maybe that means, like, there was a Native American... Casino, some kind of something going on that was uh, that was back in this on like an underground level. Like they're they're gonna find out all this stuff, but it seems like a lot of stuff really did come out shady, shady. But if you read the text, dude, it's like Ipe is down so tremendously bad. Okay, <laughs> he said in these things like, "LOL, I'm such I'm the worst better." He he, like, can I have some more money? <laughs> so it's weird. absolutely insane sounds to like read d- the communication. <sighs> I just need one more. I just need that sounds like a dr- like, like a druggy man, a complete addict complete situation. Addict. No, a hundred percent. Not even joking. That Come is on. precisely yeah. what it is. And in seeing that kind of language spelled out in the text was enough for me to go. 
maybe this is just what it is. Maybe this is what they're saying it is. And he was such a good liar because, like, if you're an addict and you're dealing with this kind of stuff, you're going to try to keep it covered up for as long as as long as you can until the you know what hits the fan. And I think eventually, around March 19th, March 20th, when Ipe was telling one story to ESPN <laughs> and then had to tell the Dodgers another story, yeah. and then when the interpreter for the Dodgers that was interpreting Ipe was telling the Dodgers what was going on, Shohei standing there going, "That's not what he told me." Oh. Was, and then it all blew up. But, I think that's kind of the way it went. we got to go back to the beginning of the story. Though. Okay. Their original story was that Shohei was helping Ipe cover money. And then after they did that interview, they said, oh, crap, we, we don't like this story. we got to change it. And then it became Ipe stole the money from Shohei. So still from the very beginning. And honestly, I think that people would have just generally believed the story. Maybe there would have been some skepticism out there. Oh, it's all Shohei all along. He's he's the gambling addict. It's 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 not Ipe. But the fact that they changed their story at the very beginning of this investigation with that ESPN interview. It started out Ipe was the gambling addict and Shohei was donating him money because he's a buddy of his. He's helped him out a lot with his career. Also, Shohei's rich. Ipe is not. Right. And so that that was plausible. But they changed their story and said, no, no, no. Actually, Ipe was stealing Shohei's money. And I get the premise that you want Shohei as far removed from the situation as possible. And so the idea that he was even somehow involved by giving Ipe the money to cover his gambling debts... You wonder. Well, maybe we're not legal experts on this. Maybe, maybe that somehow no, that would have been incri- a problem. Incriminate Shohei. Yeah, would have been a problem. That even though he's not the one gambling, that it's still his money is involved. So now he, he's got some liability here. So I, I understand that aspect of it. That does look pretty suspicious, though. If kind of does. In, in the middle of your investigation, your story flips. So th- I still think <sighs> that the further we get removed from that ESPN interview, which. I think we found out about like two months after the fact or whatever, but it, it all of the details coming out seem to be sticking with the second story that Ipe was stealing the money, and I I, I got to keep bringing back up how this story began. They changed their story, and that looked really now, guilty. I let you finish her, but who's they? Who's they? They changed their story. The the crew. It was Shohei. It was. Uh, it wasn't Ipe, Shohei. Though. And it was Shohei the, didn't know about the rep- this. The representative. Right, but we we are using this like vague term. The representative. Ipe was his guy. That's what we're kind of coming you to find out. Finish, by the way. Well, sure. <laughs> but that's the whole thing. Is like we imagine. Well, Shohei's this rich dude. He's got. I'm sure he's got just a bulletproof team of 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 legal experts. You should. No, you should. You should, and now he's probably going to. It's hard not to. I think. He will now. Uh, it's he hard will not now, to, though. But when you're just a guy and you first come into that kind of money, do you automatically have that and know the right guys to hire? Or well, do see, you have the guys in your pocket that are your guys, but they're maybe not? When you're that big, dude, you are protect. You should. I mean, you should be. You should I think be this so is a story protected. of a guy who wasn't. This isn't like the 90s anymore. Like you have so much help, man. When <laughs> Add it comes in to this stuff. a language barrier. Guy I comes know, over from but Japan. He's gigantic. Yep. So he's he gigantic over there, making he money. Was when big, he huge. He was huge. a big deal over there. But you have friends, right? Before you really are 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 big, you have friends, and if you have the wrong ones. Oh, this, I know that. I think that's what this is an example of. And so when Cole says, "Well, they changed their story." Ipe changed the story. He was still trying to cover it up on March 19th when he did that ESPN interview. What happens with the money? When somebody steals $14 million from you, what happens? My assumption is he'll be convicted, he'll owe that money, and will file bankruptcy and... You know, but does Shohei get that money back from who though? The, the, I, that's what I'm asking. So no, he fi- wow. he'll, I mean, my assumption. I could be wrong about this. I, I assume that Ipe will owe that money and that whatever gets settled in, in court because he's probably guilty. That's what it looks like. And then when that happens, okay, give me the money. Well, he doesn't have it, so you file bankruptcy and sorry. Kind of like, like Sam Bankman Freed. Is like, he going to pay back all that billion? I mean, how does that he, work? If he well, he's probably got some money hidden somewhere that. That they need to, they need to be. Hey, he's in jail, up. though. Well, I he, know he he might not last long. Oh, is that? Hmm. Well, think there's about some people it. upset with that guy. Well, yeah, rightfully so. Some big dogs, like what? Right, this little guy so. stole a billion dollars from me. Are you kidding? Not going to do well. No, but well, they got phone records, dude. Like they got seven years of communication between Ipe and Shohei. Yeah, and that stuff you can't delete. That's this is like the IRS is getting this. They they're going to find a way. No mention of betting, no mention of odds, no mention of none of that ever between the two of them. 
Okay. I mean, there's some. Okay. They, this criminal complaint is like 37 pages long, and I'm trying to read search all through of it. it. Will you? Yeah. <laughs> it's 37 pages. We it's a lot, hours. dude. It's a lot. I will try to find some of the chapter there, one. You were asking about the ESPN report, and there is something that's mentioned in here. But I got to say, government, whoever put the, this on the document cloud, not fond of your control F. I'm searching. It's on page 32, but I can't find the thing where it says the the guy that drew up this complaint said, I'm aware of the ESPN report. And I think he goes on to explain the discrepancy there, but I just can't find it in the specific page. Uh, you got to give a shout out to Shohei. Is, how's he doing right now? Is he performing? That's a good question. I'm kind of curious. Let's let's can we look him up right quick? Yeah, 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 I'll find it. For I mean, you. the big dog. Like I'm, uh, he's just he's hitting three three thirty three, which is about <laughs> that's about Shohei numbers. Okay, but think about all this crap going on. Thousand this, OPS. This he's whirlwind. A dog. Well, this whirlwind of crap. This black cloud over your head everywhere you go. And Why's it got to be a black cloud? Well, because usually a, a white cloud usually means it's not going to rain on you. <laughs> okay. uh, usually, how about a green cloud? Oh, they turn green. That's when tornadoes tornado. are coming, baby. You don't want that's what activity. we're going to say green cloud. When a green cloud's coming <laughs> your way and you still go out there and perform on a nightly basis, it's pretty, it's pretty impressive. You know, I mean, I'd be, I don't know what the hell I'd be doing, but I guess, you know, if you're, if mm-hmm. you're not in the wrong, I guess your mind is more at ease. But then again, still, man, everywhere you go, this is brought up. You want to get a sense for how, how whacked out this could have gotten for Shohei himself? Yeah. Here's a reading from this criminal complaint. As the bookie is trying to get money from Ipe, because he tells him in June, hey, as long as you're good for the 500 k every Monday, we're good here. And then from June to November, we don't see any of the text. I don't know if it's maybe somewhere else in here, but I, it just kind of jumps to honor. This, this is literally crazy. On or about November 17, 2023, Bookmaker One messaged Mizuhara stating, quote, Hey, Ipe, it's 2 o'clock on Friday. I don't know why you're not returning my calls. I'm here in Newport Beach, and I see Victim A, that's Shohei, walking his dog. I'm just going to go up and talk to him and ask how I can get in touch with you since you're not responding. Please call me back immediately. Whoa! That's in the freaking criminal complaint that this this the bookie texted Ipe. Hey, buddy, I see Shohei. Yeah, but he doesn't walk see in his dog. One of his bruisers probably sees Shohei. So is that yeah. a threat against Shohei? A threat against Ipe? It's both. A threat against Shohei's dog? No, it's, that's all. I think three. it's all of it. Those pipe hitting boys. This dude's a. Bi- this guy's a billion dollar man, Shohei Otani. That's what I mean. And, and he's th- being watched. He's got a thug watching him. Dude, it's the creepy stuff that that's what makes you go, holy crap, this guy was in deep. Like, you see that kind of stuff and you go, all right, that sounds like what it would be like if you got in, into million dollars of debt with I, a bookie. You better tell, if I'm like that dude, I'd be like, you better tell your boy Shohei. I know he's going out of town. Well, this no, weekend. here's the thing. This, oh, oh my. Well, seriously. No, uh, I, this, so this whole time, right? Uh, we're wondering, okay, what's, what does Shohei know? What does the bookie know? Because, like you said, this interpreter making 90K a year. Why would I let him get into millions of dollars of debt with me unless I knew? So in the back of the bookie's mind, does he have to think, all right, either this Shohei guy is the one doing the betting because the account was in his name with the with the bookie, but it wasn't, obviously wasn't, or Shohei is backing it and we're just gonna we're gonna just hush hush about that, or this dude that's sending me 500k every week is stealing this money from a very wealthy baseball player, but what do I care? I'm kind of a shady dude anyway, because so I'm just you, gonna turn. You don't the want other, to blow up. I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna let this keep playing out. I'm getting money, so if he's paying me, until I'm you don't, it. until it blows up, until so why you don't? So now you're threatening. This uh, he's walking his dog. Maybe I'll go up and ask him how to get in contact. That to me, the sinister undertones are like. Whoa. That tells me the bookie probably knew that Shohei was not in on this, right? A little bit where he's going. I'm going to go have a conversation with your guy, and that's going to blow your life up. Well, he could be involved, but he's hmm. silent. So, I, 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 listen, I get what you're saying, but it still doesn't add up. Yeah, I used to have a speech impediment, but I grew out of it. I used to be short, and then I stayed short. I used to have Did a big gap in my teeth. That. God, I used to look hideous. My God. <laughs> oh, embarrassing. Uh, yeah, I don't – this is just – it's just crazy. It's just a crazy <clears throat> story. It's a crazy, crazy story. $14 million, gone. Just gone. 16. It's 16 up to 16. Million. It started at four and a half, and then they're like, let's do some digging. But here's – this is a question that I still have. This dude lost $182 million worth of sports bets. 19,000 bets, average bet of like 128 k but he also won like $140 million worth of bets. But that's a negative $40 million. He stole 16 from Shohei. Was he just $24 mil in the hole with this bookie, and that's where the rest of the money is? Or like, how did that get paid out? God. I'm not, I haven't read the whole 37 pages, but I've tried to read here I'm not going to lie to you, man. Like, 
getting addicted to drugs is really, really hardcore. I mean, really hardcore. But if you get millions of dollars in debt that, <laughs> with that, I could some not crazy bookie it. that's texting you saying your wife's walk, like Matt, that, that text that you read is creepy. Absolutely sinister, It dude. is creepy. I'm watching him right now walk his dog, meaning I'm looking at his house. I'm looking at everything, mm-hmm. and it ain't me. It's a couple guys that I yeah. know that don't care about going to jail. Oh, God. Then you're responsible for others. Yeah, like other people are going to be affected by this. Yeah, they're going to they're, they're make it hurt. All right. These bruisers. Before they come after you, they're going to come after someone you love. Yeah, I know. It's scary. Mm-hmm. That happens, man. And that's going to be on your conscience. Man. Wow. Drama. Drama. That's what we're here yeah. for. I have a problem, LOL, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Can I get one last, last, is, last bump? This one is head. for real. That's a crackhead, dude. Last one for <laughs> real. It is. That's the kind of stuff sure. he was sending, dude. Uh, he's like, I need one. Desperation. Mm. Desperation. Also, I saw in there, he spent like 325 k on baseball cards on eBay, which is oh my god, absolutely hysterical. He lost a bunch. At one point, he's like, "Hey man, I've had a bad run. I lost a bunch of money on crypto. Can we come up oh. with like a? Can we come up with like a way to settle my debts here? Like a number that we can agree on? Damn, lost no. on crypto. He was just like absolutely going crazy on every different way to spend money and try to you know invest or make money. It, it it's like he just kept chasing on it. Yeah, you chasing, yeah. you chasing, you chasing, just like being a, an addict. It's crazy it is, the similarities. You no, know, it is being an addict. It's just, just when to you a quoted different that, thing. when you quoted yeah. that, like I need another bump. Like man, that, I've seen that. And Cam, <laughs> that was the third day in a row that he sent a text like that. Wow. So the June twenty second, he sent it in the book. He's like, yeah, sure, brother, no problem. Next day, he goes, I'm the worst. LOL. Can I get another bump on my credit? Do you think Shohei's worried when he's traveling? I don't think anymore. I think anymore because well, there's still all, a lot of money that needs to be paid out, right? Yeah, but the bookie, the good news is the bookie is going away for a long time too, right? Well, he's, that's what I mean. He's though. cooperating, but he's his whole enterprise is done because the feds were investigating him. That's what kind of brought all this. But all if this the bookie delight. knows that possibly Shohei has nothing to do with it, and the guy's stealing, you know it's going to blow up eventually, and then you're going to go down too. So why even mess with that? You ride the rail on it, man. You're just like, hey, maybe I can... It was a good run. It was a good run. Because it's fun while it's lasting, right? It's, it, yeah. You're living, if you're getting, it's like a drug, just drug dealer. If you're getting wired 500 k a week, that's probably pretty fun. Just like drug dealers. Yes. Like you think all these drug dealers have this, this, this fascinating life. They don't. They're always looking behind their back. A lot of times, like the big top-tier drug dealers, they're at the top. They got the big houses. But the little guys that are selling all the coke in downtown, they're living in a crappy ass... You know, have they have mattresses on the ground, but they got a bunch of cash. They drive a nice cash car, and they can't buy a damn thing. And they're always their head is on a swivel. But they got cash. They got cash. A lot of similarities to AM morning radio. It mm-hmm, feels like mm-hmm. it feels like a glamorous lifestyle. Well, but if you mix you get, the two, you can you... do well. <laughs> you know, I think Shohei was trying to protect Epe. God, at first, out of some respect for being his handler, but somebody told him, hey. You can't be involved like that, and then they change the story. Patty That's what Reed. I thought at first, too, but then I read the, the documents. Right. I'm like, dude, I don't know. This guy, if somebody had a gambling problem and was trying to keep it from everybody until it all came crashing down, those would be the texts they would send to their bookie. I'm just saying. Dude. I'm not saying, but I'm just saying. Man, <sighs> give me one more bump. Give me a bump. He's talking about give me another 500000 that I can blow tonight so that you can give me another five hundred k tomorrow. And then I'm not going to pay any of it because so I don't have the money unless you, I steal it from Shohei. Do you believe that Otani stuff? Well, I didn't until until uh, Brandon. Um, sorry, <laughs> Brandon, I get Brandoned a lot on the show. I still think that he knew more than what you think. You, Might be. It, to be that aloof as a superstar with all the people surrounding you. That's what I feel. It's, it's, it's odd. It's weird. I read the documents. It's not like he's a, I hear you. You know, even like, if he was like somewhat guilty and they they knew about, it, I feel like baseball wouldn't let him get in trouble. Here's he, my he's thing. The, he's do the you think? Boy. Do you think that Rob Manfred in Major League Baseball has power over the IRS? Because no, I'm going to say they do not. not. Nobody. <laughs> no one does. Nobody. Does. Nobody does. Yeah. That's yeah. the most powerful one at gone. Man, yep. can you imagine? That would. That would. They will get you. That'd be brutal. You you uh, get a Venmo sent to you for however much, and they're going to track that down. Especially, Especially with the eighty thousand, the, the thousands and millions of dollars. That's going to be yeah, yeah. You're you're done. You're, you're done. You're cooked. They're no. You, they don't care. Major League who? No, don't care. No, they're they gonna don't give get a you. damn. Speech impediment suck cam. I had a speech impediment and had to take speech classes. Knock my forefront teeth out at an amusement park when I was little. I look like a mini hillbilly with no teeth and a mullet. Cucker. Now you just look like an adult hillbilly. Yeah. Ooh. Not many anymore. Whoa, Cucker. Whoa, you going to take that, Cucker? Look at his you hair. You going to take that? Look at his hair on his Twitter account. 
I don't. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Yeah, man, I had a speech impediment. I took classes and I fixed it. <laughs> this text line is so good. Where's, yeah. where's the cat and who are you, derps? <laughs> <laughs> I really like Brandon joining on Fridays and can Yo. tell he's sitting in. Start listening to Be Shaved Daily. Do you make more money on YouTube or Spotify streams so I know which one to listen? Rooster. Interesting. See, that's wow, he, that's a very insightful I like that. question. And that, that's what I'm that's telling you. These guys might chirp, but they're going to take care of you, too. Yeah, dude. Now, so the thing with YouTube is it's inconsistent. One video... The advertisers might pay a bunch more, and then the next one you're like, what happened, guys? We did the same stuff, and you you get that analytics, and you get that data, and it pays less. But the thing is, sometimes I'll do a live stream on YouTube, yeah. and people can tip you like to have their comment yeah. be shown m- more prominently, yeah. and that happens sometimes. People can be very generous. Tip me out. So I, I mean, tip everybody else out. Tip with, me. With that, but then on, Spotify is good because it's been very consistent in terms of, and, and like it's unfortunate because people do have to listen through ads or I don't make money. Like that's just part of the game. But the, pay for premium. Either way, man. Either way, Spotify. That's where or we YouTube. get our we get we get our most of our downloads, big time, a huge chunk off Spotify. Spotify, yeah. dude. It's you know, it, have you do been doing job. the thumbnails with the faces? Uh, so the cat always goes, "Hey, you gonna do the YouTube face and make a thumbnail?" I I take pictures of the players, or you can just kind of yeah. create thumbnails of like the player you're talking about. I usually don't do me unless I'm when I do a podcast with Charlie. Then it's like, okay, I want people to know that this is different from my normal thing, so right. I'll put me and Charlie on there so people understand what they're what they're actually. Yeah, my buddy hear. does YouTube for a living, and he makes a good. Like a good amount for considering it's a video game. That's and, oh, dude. And, yeah. and, and I he, see those video game ass. streamers. He, I should quit all of this to do MLB the show streaming yeah. because you, you and I mean, yeah. those guys blow people up. People do like franchise mode and that stuff, and, any, and people like love any it. Any game. And dude. like this is a little inside baseball, but for me, people already know me about baseball. Right. And I got to convince my wife to get the PS5. That's the thing that hasn't happened well, yet. I'm I selling still don't have mine, the, so. I thought you sold it to Andy. Yeah, he hasn't for bought it yet, bucks? though. He hasn't for how bought much? it yet. 300 no, three fifty, three thirty. I told him three thirty. That's fair because it's usually five sixty. Because, well, but there's one for three ninety nine with a new game yeah, that you could get nowadays on. So I, oh, yeah. I Best Buy. I told them because I was like, GameStop gives me this. One. I'm getting rid of mine because I have an Xbox and a PlayStation, so well, I, don't need, I don't need both. They have all the games on both now. But what yeah. I thought I could do, people just go on there and they'll just stream and they're just talking. But for me, I could be answering cardinal questions like the whole you time I'm doing it. People Twitch. might watch. That. You should stream on Twitch, YouTube, people might watch even that. TikTok they now. Will. Yeah, people love that stuff. You know, yeah. I've been to too many of those lunch. Lunches. They are fluff lunches. Anyone that asks pressing and slightly negative questions is usually eye rolled by the rest of the crowd. It's like being invited to a party and then criticizing the host, Patrico. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Where you're like, I'm gonna, I got some hard hitting questions, and you ask one, and everybody's like, oh come on. Everybody else there's like, what is this guy? Yeah, we're this guy we're, we're here to hang out. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a sports media environment. It was. A St. Louis radio environment, and the minority of stations here are sports. It's the majority just pop culture or whatever. Yeah. Well, so that's interesting. So, like, was there, like, a formal Q&A sort of moment? Because you said you asked about Yachty. Was that yeah. Was that kind of during a more... Like, are they at a podium and people are asking questions? Did that happen? Uh, not at a podium, but still kind of like sitting in chairs or sit, like at, at one part of the room and all the attention is directed towards them. Is it being them. videoed? Or, or, no. Okay. And so it wasn't like I, like no standing up high. Colbert team is from KFNS. Like it wasn't like that. Cool. Okay. It was just like anybody got any questions, and just they pointed at me. Hey, when's Yachty coming back? I like it. One of the end. Uh, they don't know who I was. On one end of the spectrum is a team press officer. On the other end, on the other is a fan with his social media hot takes. Rights holder broadcasters like Cat are just a step away from the one end. Radio guys are a step away from the other end. Reporters should be right. In the middle, Fat Tony. I think that's actually, and again, I'm not going to speak for the cat or, but like that's not maybe all too far off because like the the PR people are working for the team, like that's their role to 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 you know that's part of that's what they do. Versus fans on the other end, they're not beholden to anybody, anything. Reporters in the middle, I, I don't think that's terrible. The thing is, like when you're trying to do a little bit of both, that's that's where it can be interesting because you have to make sure that you are being responsible to. To everything that you are beholden to, and, and trying to do a good job with that. Speaking of the uh, post game media stuff, you go in the room with Ollie right after the game when he's at the desk. It's a well, at, it's a, on the road games. He's at his desk in his office. Or sorry, like at, at, at the, the table. podium. Yeah, you, you go in there at though, the for podium that. for Has that. Has he been testier this year? No, I don't. I don't no, he was testy last year. Last year at times. Yeah, I just feel like he's. I don't know. He's been a little cranky. I don't maybe. think so. I, he's always got the same demeanor. He's got a weird, like, I, I don't see know. YouTube he's got a weird comments vibe. and different t- tweets every time. Almost after every loss, it's like, did you think Ollie was testy today? I'm like, no, I don't think so it. He's just, so uh, long. It's probably testy every that day. Probably Dude, gets it's boring. I'm so sure. For 162 people. games, and you might lose 91 of them some years, and those 
long that gets days, old, man. dude. That gets old. And Baseball so, long days, dude. And it's right after the heat of battle, too. You, it's a different Ollie the next morning yeah. because it's like you're getting ready for the new game and you, you've been away from that loss for a little bit longer yeah. and you can get into things a little bit more. That's a, I got to say, I don't envy it at all. The, the coach or the manager that goes up to a podium after a game and has to be, these questions are on camera, right? So, like, it's just a different dynamic. It's Wait, tougher. Did you text to, in? Yeah, did it work? Oh, it yeah. worked. What did it say? T- text in again. It said, is this text working, Daddy Padre? Yeah, it worked. Sweet. I guess well, you're What back. the hell you been doing then? Well, no one changed I, anything. I don't know. I, it didn't work. It didn't work for a while. With so. the rotating hosts and drop ins, you should n- rename this show Cam and Friends. Cam Cole and friends, I would say. Yeah, because Cole's always here. Cole's always here. Hey, man. you said on Fridays if I got nothing coming on, terribly consuming to stop by any time. So yeah, get out of here. Stop by. Anytime. Did it go through? I don't care. Yeah, I got it. Punch Sweet. him in the face. Daddy Padre's back on the text line. Guys, why can't anything be done about the damn riverfront? Seems like a, a, a plenty of opportunity. Hey, speaking about riverfronts, I know you followed that Riley Strain story. Have you mm. been following that still? Like how mm. the parent, I fell off the a family, bit. the family's still like not. 100% believing. Yeah, well, that's that going to be the crazy. case. How did he fall in the river? Of yeah. course, the Riley Strain is that kid, that Mizzou kid. That, yeah. I know you like those true crime type yeah, stuff. Yeah, I do. I'm, I'm curious about it. I've been to Nashville we, plenty we, of times. We've been down there right, right by there. Where he's and it's, at. Yeah, it's weird. Either you, you fall into a river or you get a, a, a chair land on your head. I was going to say Morgan Wallen. How about that? Jeez. He looked like an idiot. That how was about that? What an idiot. What a tall building to be. I had somebody, People are like, that's the, that's the bad boy of country. No, that's the moron of that's country. That's reckless, dude. That's and he, he gets multiple chances, and it's like, dude, you'd think at some point another guy that's got everything he could ever want, just kind of chill, man. Just take it. That's, take it and enjoy it. That's why Bernie Miklas was the best and still is the best. He was, in, in, he was in the industry and didn't give a damn. He asked the questions that everybody was wondering, and it was fair, even if it rubbed the athletes and managers the wrong way. Cat does have to walk a certain line and is not in the writing articles business. His job is to entertain you on hits and does a great job. And to the no-namer texting Cam, bashing Cam for fighting, good God, <laughs> zip it. Why don't you stick your head up Cam's ass and fight some air? Pizza wall. Mm. No, wow. don't do that. It, it, it'd probably hurt. That would hurt you. Why did OJ run, you think? Well, it was all crashing down. Because when down. you murder two people. <laughs> you probably don't want to get caught. <laughs> mm-hmm. In my experience, murdering two people. What happened to the uh, the guy driving the, the guy? Was that his like, brother or something? Yeah, AC probably, something? Getaway what, car? I don't know. What man. happened to him? Probably something minor. You're driving a car of a guy that that's wanted. That's probably not what you're supposed to do. So. Pro- probably not. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Why would Otani originally say that he was helping out the other guy if he wasn't? If he didn't. Otani didn't say so anything. It's so transparent. He didn't say anything. Ipe told the ESPN. Ipe. Ipe. Mizuhara. This was the guy that was doing all the talking. It wasn't like a they. It wasn't like a what Otani said. No. It's a, it gets misconstrued because you read something and then you assigned, well, Otani did this. Otani didn't do any of it. It was Ipe talking and then Ipe talking some more. And the more he talked, the more it came out that he wasn't telling the truth. Hey, Kim, it's Brendan, not Brandon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's all in fun. Jeez, it's all Louise. in fun. I do get called Kim. Do you? Yeah. That's a weird one. From like if I have like on the phone with somebody that doesn't know you. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I say, like, it's Cam. Cam? No, it's Cam. Cam? No. God. Oh, let's see here. Da, da, da. Are you backing up Scott Boris on the text line right now, Cole? Me? Yeah, you're shooting back at people that say Scott Boris is still like the GOAT or something. No, nah, he said baseball is saved because Jordan Montgomery fired Scott Boris. He did yeah. fire him, though. You know, you know how many other clients have Scott Boris as their agent? A lot. The baseball is not saved. Yeah, but the ones that happened this offseason probably weren't too happy with him. Only one of them fired him. That's true. There's a couple cats that probably weren't, though. If yeah, a bunch of them fired like him. four of them. Then. The, the the money those guys were supposed to get, and again, quote unquote, supposed to get, like anybody's prediction does not necessarily make it law. Yeah, because somebody because Nightingale wrote an article predicting. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything that if if we predict or like MLB trade rumors, and they they try to do their due diligence, but go. like it doesn't mean that they're automatically going to get it right of right. what a guy's going to get. And they all but they all got significantly less to where it's like really guy can win the Cy Young, Blake Snell, and get a two year contract. That's a little bit weird, but that's that's the way it played out. Oh, Cole's dad's chiming in. He does from time to does time. Does he? Okay. Hey, Cole. Yeah. I think me and your mom are coming down with COVID. Please don't come by the house when you're in town this weekend. <laughs> Sign Cole's dad. Oh, geez, Louise. That's not really your dad. Were you is supposed it? to? Yes. No, it's a guy with the 636 area. Code. <laughs> <laughs> Stop my dad. There's oh. a lot more meaning to this. It's a lot deeper. It's pretty good. It's though. a lot deeper than you think. 
But that Cole's dad, he chimes in once in a while, but it's always something subtle like that. I'm like, just worried that he's going to text into somebody else's show when I'm not there, and somebody's <laughs> not going to know that it's not yeah, actually I think it's my actually dad. your dad. Yeah. Man, oh, man. Oh, God. What's the update on, uh, see, the Tiger's got to go. I guess he's, he's starting back up here soon. Round two. Round two. Yeah, he's one over. He's one over. He's going to need a nap at some point. I think point. he's going to make the cut, though, maybe. What would be the cut, you think? Is it little, like plus one, plus two? I don't know. Plus I one, probably something like something that. Something in that range. Saying, dude, just some of these, some of these holes, man, are so difficult. You have, I mean, Max so Homa difficult. can play though. Look at that birdie. God, I wish I was good at golf. Me Damn. too. Me too. Can we get good at golf? Can we just get together and are get you good golf, at golf a lot again this year? Uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna. Go, I'm going to. I got to hit the range before I can go to a course with people. I don't want to be that guy holding everybody up. You know. Well, you don't have to hold people up. Even if you're bad, oh, you I still play, don't. You dude, don't. Dude, 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 dude. I play exactly. quick. Exactly. I play cool. You quick. can't find your ball. That's on you. Oh, well. Okay. Drop another one. Don't have people wait. Where are you, where are you at? Where are you? Not yes, me. That could be the most annoying damn thing in the world. You might be a great human being, and if I golf with you and you are annoying, you gotta, yeah, I'm done with you. You got to let those things go. You could be go. the coolest guy in the world. I'm done with you. Yeah. So annoying. Why so you say, selfish. You look at me in the eye when you say that, Because it's selfish. I'm a little scared. Of that. It's a selfish <laughs> no, thing you're to right. do. You're right. We need round two of you and Andy again out there. Oh, Andy's course. the most painful. To... Where's my ball? <laughs> what country are you? <laughs> I forgot something. Just swing so it. So annoying.